We're both fifth generation bakers and we've been baking in the Cotswolds and near Bristol since 1920. My dad ran the bakery downstairs and this butcher has been here forever until Henry's taken on. They kind of complement each other, don't they? Yeah, so yeah, you've got the bread yeah. one side, the meat the other side, and a lot of happy customers in the middle. And part of what we love is sharing what we know with other people. The Fabulous Baker Brothers TV series and books have been a great opportunity to share what we've learned and from going back five generations with loads of people. It's been brilliant. And I'm always trying to make the best I could possibly do, and that's by sourcing the right ingredients and you know cooking them with a lot of love and attention, but also having a lot of fun. For us, everything starts with a really great loaf, but you've got to have something to put in it. So we want to show you how to make at home a really lush fish finger sarnie. So we've got here six strips of white fish that could be cod or pollock or haddock. There's nothing better for hunger pranks than a, than a big old fish finger sarnie, is there, Tom? Let's get into it. So we've seasoned them with a good pinch of salt and I put all of the fish into this and cover it with flour. So then dip it into some milk and beaten egg, and then into some breadcrumbs. Double dip for extra crunch. So back in the egg and back in the breadcrumbs. And just repeat this for all of them. So these fish fingers are a great way to encourage kids to eat fish. I've got four kids and we make these at home. They find all the bones and skin with regular fish a bit icky, but they love these. Right. They're ready for the fryer. I'm going to wash my hands. Now, shop-bought tartar sauce is all right, but you can't beat your own homemade. And all we need is a little bit of diced shallot. So I'm just going to dice that pretty finely. And then we've got a couple of cornichons. I'm a sucker for anything pickled. That's true. He's a sucker. And then we've got a few capers here, just the fine ones. They're already pretty small, so let's give them a rough little chop. And then for herbage, I got some tarragon. Tarragon works really well because it's kind of got that kind of fennel-y, aniseed-y kind of flavor, which works really well with the fish. And then I've got some curly parsley. Just rip a bunch off. Gonna roughly chop through the whole thing. It's quite important that you don't chop herbs too much because, you know, if you go through them too much, you're gonna bruise them and lose all their nice fragrant flavor. And now all we need is some mayonnaise. This is some homemade stuff, but you could use shop-bought, no problem. A Couple of dollops pinch of pepper, and there's enough salt in the capers, and then just mix it together. Marvellous. Right, so now we're ready to fry the fish fingers. So we've got deep fat fryer, 170 degrees, and these just go in here for five minutes. And if you've not got one of these at home, then you can just put them in a shallow frying pan with vegetable oil. But it's really important to get the temperature right, or otherwise you might find that they burn on the outside before they're cooked properly in the middle. And this is not sushi, by the way. This is a, this is a fish finger sarni in it, so you want yeah. to cook fish. Great, they're bubbling away. Five minutes, they'll be done. Right, while they're frying, just got time to cut some bread. So this is the Sherston Overnight White Loaf. This loaf is a lot of effort when it comes to kneading, but the good, slow, overnight rise gives it really great flavour. It's a loaf of real substance, the Sherston Overnight Dough Loaf, my great-grandfather's recipe. It's the ideal thing for making Asani. Right, five minutes, they're ready. And because this is double carbs, and it's good to have a bit of health, I just got a little bit of lettuce here. Adds a bit of crunch. Good dollop of Henry's tartar Slather sauce. Slather of tartar sauce, absolutely. And don't be shy with the tartar sauce. And three fish fingers for a homemade fish finger sarnie, Baker Brothers style, with tartar sauce.